Day one. Day one. 15th of April 2013. But it's not actually day one. But it's day one of having the machines early up, running 100%. We've actually got the equipment there last Friday. Today is Monday night. It's been a hard few days. Bit of DIY here and there. Prototype on the case coming along. This is the machine. At the moment, this wooden part is the prototype we worked on today. Uh, currently we have three cards running, three uh, 7950 AMDs running on a, 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 an MSI 990 FXA GT80 motherboard with four PCIe slots by 16, so that's a top of the range motherboard. Top of the range cards, top of the range 1500 watt power supply more or less the maximum size you can probably get, serious block. But it's needed for these cards, which is are going to use up about 1200 watts on stock power settings. We're going to look into overclocking and over voltage uh, to overclock them. I'm not 100% sure if we could do that with the gigabyte cards yet, but at the moment we're just happy to have them up and running. Uh, one of the these are the these are the PCI extension cables here. And they are designed such that, well, first of all, so we can raise them up higher than the board, so they have more room for cooling. And secondly, because this Molex connector here, uh, the cable is designed in such a way that it doesn't draw power from the motherboard, it draws them directly through the power slots here. So to avoid drawing too much power from the board and basically burning out the and connector. And just to wonder about the fourth graphics card. The fourth graphics card, the reason that's not in is because one of the X extender cables that we got uh, it's has, faulty. Has a, has a, is a bit faulty, yeah. there's more coming in the post next week. <laughs> we're running off USB, running the bunch of off USB with CG minor, so we're not bothering with any hard disks at all. Yeah, connect to the network connect to the network via a switch over here at the front. Sempron, stat, bog standard AMD Sempron processor only costs about 30 euro, that's all you need. Yeah, yeah that's all and we've a little LED to tell the temperature of the oh, motherboard yeah. there, it's running at 34 degrees at the moment, 33, 34. 34, 33. Look, man, out! <laughs> Put her in the picture. <laughs> She's looking out the window. <laughs> well, look. That's the guard dog, guarding all the machinery. Oh, yeah, need a guard dog. Oh, by the way, that's only fucking one machine of about 400 yet to be put in back. Yeah. <laughs> This is the software here that's running, so you can see we have the three GPUs. Is that coming up, yeah? Yeah, so, see we have the three GPUs there. Yeah, and you can see the, the temperatures, so, keep it, uh, all running around, well, around 60, between 60 and 75. And the top the one at 75 is running mostly higher than the others because of the fact that it's being used for the GUI here as well. Over 500. Yeah. <coughs> Total between the three cards is about uh, average 1.541 mega yeah. per second. Um, Here, I'll get that fucking one. Pause this. Yeah. Come on. Ow. She bites. Here. Is that it anyway? Uh, really that's more or less it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, is that recording now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Greytech, router, DSL, back up to 3G, DSL goes down, uh, this is just a NAS device for the network, this is a switch, Cisco switch, um, which all the machines are being wired into, this is kind of the computer that I use for doing that here, uh, yeah. including, you know, setting up and monitoring mm. these machines, and that's basically it, alright, coolio,